Tencent, a Chinese company, just dropped a massive bombshell in the AI world. They've launched an open source text to video model that's about to change everything. Just look at the quality, it's insane. We finally have a Sora level text to video generation model, and it's completely open source. Yeah, you heard that right. These days, China seems to be more open than OpenAI itself. So let's dive in. So yesterday, Tencent released a model called Hunyuan Video, a 13 billion parameter open source text to video model. Yeah, you heard that right open source. And when you look at the open source scene for this kind of stuff, you wouldn't expect it to be this good. I mean, some of these shots, you'd think they came straight out of Sora. This is huge, guys. I feel bad for other pricey video models like Runway and LumaSlab. You can get this quality of video from a free open source model. This means video prices are about to plummet. How are people going to justify paying hundreds of bucks a month for a video system when you can run something like this for free? Just last week, we got Genmo AI, which was also mind-blowing. But let's focus on this Tencent Hanyuan video, because this model is about to give some tough competition to Sora, which might be released this week. When Sora is released, I'll make a separate video comparing the two, okay? Okay, so first off, they're all about that high-quality video life, and honestly, they're not lying. Check out this clip, it's super clear, right? Now sure, some of these might be the best examples they've got, but still, the quality's crazy good and super consistent. I'm not spotting those weird AI hiccups you usually see. And in some of these demos, it's actually looking better than what we've seen elsewhere. So here's how they tested Hanyuan Video. They put it up against five big name closed source video models. They used 1,533 text prompts and ran them all through Hanyuan Video in one go. No retries, no cherry picking, just a straight up single run. And to keep it fair, all the models stuck to their default settings with the same video resolution across the board. Then they judged the results on three things. How well the videos matched the text, how smooth the motion was, and the overall visual quality. Over 60 pros got in on the evaluations, and guess what? Hanyuan Video crushed it, especially when it came to motion quality. First, check this clip, a soldier holding a gun. It seems like it's from some Hollywood movie, but it's not. This clip was generated by Tencent's text-to-video model, and the quality is just insane. I know this is likely their cherry-picked demo, but, you know, the photorealism is by far better than Runway ML or any other text-to-video model. It's Sora-level quality right there. In another demo, they showcase something called High Dynamics. That basically means this model completes a motion action in one shot. Okay, so you can see this. A motorcyclist riding a bike, then the camera pans from the back of the motorcycle to the front view. You can see there's no AI video junkiness, it's so smooth. Next, they're talking about artistic shots, which they describe as breaking single camera movements, seamless integration of director level camera work. Okay, so what does that really mean? Well, it looks like you can get multiple shots of the same person in different styles. Guys, this is huge. This means people can now get multiple shots of a character doing stuff, which leads to more artistic creativity. This levels the playing field. Anyone can jump in and make cool stuff now. And I gotta say, this specific example looks awfully familiar. Remember that open eye Sora demo? Same dude, same glasses, same hat in a coffee shop. Now look, Sora was good, but the quality difference here, it's not that big. And remember, this is open source. 13 billion parameters. It probably doesn't take as long to run as Sora. You could likely run this on some local hardware. That's incredible. And guys, this is the worst this technology is ever going to be. Think about the future implications. The stuff we'll be able to create. It's insane. Okay, next up we got concept generalization. This is where you combine different things. Like, hey, you want a panda riding a bike through the streets of London? Or Prague? Go for it. This is important because these models need a rich understanding of objects and how they relate to each other. Then we got physical compliance. Basically, the system understands how objects interact. You see this water dropping. The ripples in the waves? Pretty accurate, right? And that's not the only example. You need physical compliance for objects to interact believably. It's got to be high degree. Or the video just won't look real. Lots of video models struggle with this. I know no model does it perfectly, consistently, but an open source model that does it well? That's valuable. Okay, next up, sound generation. Listen to this. <laughs> The model generates sound based on prompts. This is cool. Without sound, a video makes no sense at all. So they also have text-to-sound generation. First, look at this. The sound quality is on point. 
This model doesn't just give quality video, but also audio generation capabilities, which you can't get with other open source models. I think this is huge. In February, OpenAI announced their text-to-video model, which shocked everyone, and some people were terrified. Now we've got the same level of quality from an open source model. That's something nobody expected. And one more thing. Motion-driven movement. So basically, you can record your facial expressions or body motion and transfer that to an image. It's not something new, but the quality is definitely far better than live portrait or mimic motion. Here's a demo. A statue dancing, another one of someone singing with expressions, and a girl dancing TikTok style. This is absolutely amazing. I mean, our Instagram and TikTok feeds are going to be flooded with these eye-generated videos for sure. You know what my favorite superhero movie is? Man of Steel. In that movie, Superman's father said, With great power comes great responsibility. In this AI era, we must use these extremely powerful tools responsibly. You have the power to create something great or something disastrous. All I want to say is be a responsible user and also consider subscribing to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!